Okay, it's last night. I'm starting this video the night before, so if you're watching me now, this is last night, so this is yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna make a big smoking smorgasbord today. Meat, lots of meat, all the meat I got. Almost all of it. And overnight, I'm gonna inject this pork roast I have here. This is almost six pounds. A big pork shoulder. I'm gonna inject it right in the package because it's easy and because I don't have a bag big enough to fit that in, do I? This isn't gonna fit in there, is it? It might, you think it would? But anyway, you saw me earlier, I made pork chops with my ramen. I saved some. I have six more pork chops here and I'm gonna marinate them in the bag and put them in this bag. That's only two things I have. Pork roast, pork chops, some big honka hunks of chicken, uh, corned beef brisket, my favorite, uh, and some sausage. And whatever else I find laying around, I'm gonna throw it in my smoker. Okay? So anyway, it's last night and I'm getting this prepared. I wanted to show you. Okay? I've used different kinds of injections and rubs and all this, but I bought this Laurie's Sweet Southern Barbecue Marinade. I'm going to try that. I'm going to pour about half of this bottle into this bag of pork chops. Boneless. And I'll mix them around. Okay. Oh, that smells real good. See that? And they're just going to sit in there in the refrigerator all night. I might roll them around once in a while. Mmm. Delicious. Ooh, that went a long way, didn't it? Now, I'm going to take my Pulp Fiction injector and unject. <laughs> and inject right in the bag right in the wrapper i'm just gonna hold it in there there's a bone in there that's gonna be good all right come over here a minute almost done this is gonna be quick see that oh that's gonna be good good idea huh inject in the package maybe not somebody don't like it somebody always don't like something everywhere i go there's somebody always not liking something but it's okay Makes the world go around. Yeah. Oh yeah. This was 99 cents a pound. That ain't bad, huh? Flip it over. We get a fat cap. Ooh. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Gonna be good. It's already good. <laughs> Boy, it smells barbecue already in here. You gonna join me tomorrow? Oh, you already are. This is last night, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello there! Now, it's leaking out because I'm poking holes in this, but that's okay. That's why I have it in a pan. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it for tonight. And I'll be back in the morning and fire up the smoker, okay? Don't look at me. All right, see you in the morning. Sweet dreams. Welcome to tomorrow. It is now 8.30 a.m. And there's my nice Pro Series Smoke Hollow smoker. And some wood soaking overnight, some hickory wood. And I'm gonna get this fired up and get going here because it's gonna be a good smoking day. Here's my wood trays. I put a little charcoal in to get started. And then I'm gonna put my hickory wood chunks in there. Let's come down here and fire the smoker up. This is propane fire to begin with. You see that tank there. And then once it gets heated up with the propane, we turn the flame down and let the smoke do the work. I got my water pan in there. This is nice and seasoned, look at it. Look at the seasoning in there. Can you see all that? 
It smells so good. Okay, let's... I don't know if you can see much of this, but I'm gonna put some wood in here. Start with little pieces. That's a big piece. I like starting with little pieces. Until the charcoal burns down. And the wood takes over. Okay? Nice fresh water in there. Did I say that already? Keep our smoke moist. Some of these things I'm cooking, like the chicken and the pork chops, are gonna be done earlier and I'm gonna be eating them. Oh, and sausage too. Sausage. It's easy. All right, let's turn it on. We got flame, turn the gas on, what's wrong with you? It is on, did I do that already? There we go, all right, let's let that heat up. It's on high right now till we get up to about 250 degrees. Hope you can see all that, what I was just doing. I also have a wireless thermometer that I'm going to put in there keep track of the temperature while I'm inside. Let's turn this off and turn the receiver on. I'm going to put this probe in the exhaust vent on top. So it'll give me a nice accurate reading, hopefully. I like that. Ooh, I feel the heat already. And then just let this hang on the side. We don't want it to melt like that. I'll take this in and I'll be watching it inside. All right, let's go inside and finish preparing the meat. And by the time we come back here, we should have some smoke rolling out top of that. Here we are, back in the house. Hope you can see all this. There's my pork shoulder that I marinated overnight. Getting messy already. There's my delicious brisket that I didn't do anything with because I love it. Love it like that. Could have marinated it. I'm going to put a little rub on it. I have just some sausage. Oh, sweet Italian turkey sausage. Oh, I wouldn't have bought turkey sausage. But it's here and it's sweet Italian. And I have chicken leg quarters. Chicken leg quarters. Put them over here for a second. And, last but not least, so far, I have my boneless pork chops that we're marinating all night. Wow. Anything else I can find, I'm throwing it on there, too. Let me wash my hands off and open this chicken and meat up. Here's my delicious pork shoulder that I injected last night and let rest overnight in the refrigerator. Now, I use a lot of tips that I got from Myron Mixon. You might have seen him on TV. Plus, I bought this book, Myron Mixon, Smoking Book. And a lot of these methods he uses, like he'll cook this in this aluminum pan. And then, after three hours of smoke, we'll take this out and put it in a clean aluminum pan with some apple juice and cover that with foil. Then we'll let that cook until the internal temperature is 205 degrees and it's going to fall apart. It's going to be pulled pork. Mmm. And the same for the corned beef brisket. I'm going to put that in an aluminum pan, too. Right now. That's, a, that's an easy one. Like I said, I could have marinated this, but I didn't. But I am going to rinse it off with water. Well, some people think it's too salty as it is, and you can soak it overnight in water if you like. I'm going to put this in a shallow pan. I'm going to rub that, too. I'm going to like it. I'm going to like it. Pork chops. Pork chops going on a shallow pan. Marinate it overnight. You can marinate these any way you like. These are going to be so delicious. These are going to smoke for about two to three hours. And the fun part of this is taking care of it all day. You know, stoking that fire, adding more wood, smelling it, tasting what might be done by now. Like I know that sausage is gonna be done quicker than anything probably. And maybe even the chicken. Make a mess, that's okay. 
We love it. Next. I believe I'm gonna put that sausage right on the rack. How's that sound? I'm gonna roll them around, because I think they're gonna be done quick. I have some store-bought rubs that I'm gonna use. A1. I have chicken that I'm not going to rub. I'm gonna take the skin off. These are quarters. See, quarters. Let me get a shallow pan for those. Shallow or no shallow? Shallow! Here's that. I do believe I want to remove the skin. Hopefully that'll be easy. Get as much skin as I can off of here. It's going to be good smoky chicken. Smoky, smoky. If I was frying that, I'd leave the skin on, that's for sure. I might have some skin left on him, but that's all right. Gonna get a grip now. Get a grip, boy. All right, yeah. Gonna grip with a with a napkin. Pulls it right off. Got a little bit left. I don't mind that. Do that to the other three pieces I have. Okay. Yeah, you get a good grip with a paper towel. You can pull that skin off pretty good. You know that. Let me wash my hands good now. After the chicken mess. Where's my towel? Why well, I keep losing stuff? Washed and dried for my beautiful favorite brisket. I'm gonna put some cowboy rub on there. I've already made my own rub too. There's plenty of recipes for that. Or just put whatever seasonings you like. But the store board is great. You know? It's very handy and it's really good. This is, what brand is that? McCormick Grill Mates. Mm. Now there's a controversy as whether fat up or fat down. Don't matter to me. I'm, sometimes I turn it over halfway through, you know. That's up to you. Okay, I got the cowboy rub on it. The pork chops, I'm going to use sweet and smoky rub. A little bit. Mm. That got a sweet cumin flavor, which I like cumin. That's why I have that. I'm just going to put that on the chicken. And uh, when the chicken's halfway done, I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on it. Do you mind? I hope I remember all this. If I end up finishing and forgetting something like barbecue sauce or changing the pork shoulder with apple juice, then I won't like that. Anyway. Okay, this is going to be so good. Did you ever have smoked pork chops? I didn't think so. Okay, I'm just going to put some cumin on my chicken. And I'm going to turn them over halfway through as well. They're not going to take as long. They might take between one and two hours. And we want the internal temperature of that to be about 185. Cumin is delicious. Put a little bit of salt and pepper on there too. Why not? Make it however you like it. Where do you see this smoky masterpiece? Smorgasbord. Gonna have a big party, huh? Okay, one, two, three, sausage. Here comes the big one. Pork shoulder. I put a lot of rub on there. I'm gonna use this A1 dry rub. Garlic and classic herbs flavor. Plus we have the barbecue marinade inside that was injected. That's going to be so delicious. You know it is. Can you see over here? Where am I? Yeah. Rub that one up. Fat side up, fat side down. Going fat side up. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It's so delicious. You know it is. Just like that. 
Okay, the smoker's only up to 169. We want 250. So a couple minutes, let me clean up this mess, wash up, and pretty soon it'll be up to 250 and we'll be rolling some smoke and this is gonna be delicious. Oh my gosh, they're cooking, can't wait. All right, my smoker is up to 225 degrees. The light smoke coming out. Let me put the pork roast on there first, the shoulder. Pork shoulder. The other stuff. My favorite beautiful brisket and pork chops. You go there. You can share a shell. Mm, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. The delicious chicken quarters. Can you see that right? Sunlight. There too. I'm put you down here. That's gonna get done the quickest. Then I have my sausages. And I'm just going to roll around on the top. Because I believe I'm gonna eat them for lunch. They're gonna get done quick. Quicker. Isn't this great? Do you have a smoker like this? You can make a smoker out of anything. All right, close it up. Wait, let's look at it. <laughs> See it? Sausage. Marinated pork chops, boneless. Beautiful. Corned beef brisket. Okay. Pork shoulder, stop looking at it. Close the door. And delicious chicken quarters. Close this door up. Now we lost a little heat. So, get our temperature back up to 250. Once it starts puffing some smoke, I'll let you see it. And we're going to smoke for three hours to begin with. About an hour into it, I'm going to check the chicken and the sausage. I might roll them around somewhat. That's going to be good, isn't it? It's starting to get warm out, so that's good. Started out cold, but now it's over 50 degrees. Can't complain. Can I? Remember that snow I hated? <laughs> All right, be back soon. We got some smoke going here. It's been about an hour. Smells delicious. I don't want to open the door and lose the smoke and the heat, but the window's pretty clear because I cleaned it off yesterday. Can you see much in there? <laughs> I can. All right, I'm gonna add some more wood since the charcoal died down. That's why I like to start it with charcoal and then continue with wood. So let me move that around a little bit down there. Ooh. Still looks pretty good in there. Move it around, move it around. After it burns out somewhat, I pull it out and move it around, add to it. But there's still enough, enough good wood in there. Smoke it up. But you know me, I can't, can't resist taking a peek. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see good in there? Don't wanna open that up, but I did. Roll them around a little bit. A little bit. That's gonna be my lunch. How's everybody else doing? Perfect, okay. All right, it's only been an hour, a little over an hour. 200 degrees now, we just lost a little heat, see? If you're looking, you ain't cooking, remember? So don't be opening it. Enjoy it though. It's fun. Fun and delicious. Can't wait to eat it all. I'm not gonna eat it all today. It's gonna be my food for the week, probably. Might have half of it tonight. I could eat that whole brisket, you know that. It's been two hours. I hope you can see some of this smoke. It's really smoky and good smelling. If you're looking there, rolling sausages around. Maybe I can eat one of them sausages, you think? Let's look in there. I hate to open it, but. I'm going to. Whoa, there it is. Shoo wee. Oh. I did turn over the pork chops and the chicken. I'm sorry I didn't show you that. I wanted to do it quick. Oh, it's 
get in there. Should I take a piece of that sausage? Okay. Didn't take a bite of that, right? Mmm. Oh, mm. well, that's a good smoky flavor. I'm gonna put it back in though. Mmm. Delicious. You know I'm hungry. Pull them around. Chicken looks good. Remember, I'm gonna try to put barbecue sauce on there. I'm gonna try to remember to put barbecue sauce on them chicken quarters. Man. The only bad part about this is waiting. But in the meantime, get to smell the smoke. Play with the wood and fire. Back soon. I'm going to remember now to brush my chicken pieces with the sweet baby rays. Sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. Aren't you glad I remembered? I am. Wow, getting juicy. Let's take the internal temperature of that quick. Remember, I don't want to lose my heat. We want 185. Some people say 165. Some say 185. Right now we have 137.21 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's tender. Oh. 151. 151. All right, stop messing around here. Fahrenheit. We're losing heat. Losing heat on my meat. This is just going to give it some spice. Some barbecueness. You see how I stood them up on the corners? Get some smoke underneath them, too. Plus, I turned them over one time. Man, that's going to be so good. Oh, it's smoky. Leave it underneath. Oh, you love it. Get some underneath. Perfect. A little bit more. Hope you can see all right. Ooh. Can you? Yeah, you can. All right. Oh, I want to eat that now. <laughs> it ain't ready. Pork chops look good. My sausage, remember? Mmm. I'm gonna eat that whole thing now. Mm. All right. Well, I love that sausage. That was good. Real smoky flavored. All right, let's get the smoke rolling again, and I'll be back in an hour to cover up the brisket and the pork shoulder. And we'll think about the chickens at that time, okay? Isn't this fun? Mm-hmm. Smokey, smokey, smokey. Now when this smoke dies down, I'm going to cover up the pork shoulder and the brisket. Then we'll let the heat take over. The secret to this, making your meat really tender, is the internal temperature, that's for sure. Uh, 205 is perfect for pulled pork and brisket. The other meats I know are done, the pork chops and the sausages, of course. They're getting extra done. Might have another one of them when I open that door. A few more minutes. All right, here comes the fun part. Been smoking for three and a half hours. I was going to transfer this pork shoulder to a clean pan, as Myron suggests, but I think this pan's all right. I don't mind a little bit of flavoring down there, because I'm going to add some apple juice in there right now. Let's take that internal temperature quick. Remember what we want it to be? 49.2 degrees Okay, 149. Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to pour almost two cups of apple juice in there. I'll save a little bit. For my pork chops. Is that alright? Get it underneath a little bit. You ready to see this after four or five more hours? I'm gonna cover it with foil right now. Now 
And I'm gonna let the heat take care of the rest. We had enough smoke on there. Okay, and then the same thing with the brisket. Let's check that internal temperature quick. 150.1 All right, 150. Fahrenheit. Low and slow. The brisket is gonna go about three more hours. And you see it's kinda dry in there? Wait to see it. It's gonna be juicy. That's what the foil does for it as well. We know these sausages are done, because look. Whoa. Oh. Mm mm mm. That's just a snack. Huh. Look at the pork chops. Mmm. Okay. Turn them over. Can you see Mark? I'm gonna put the rest of my apple juice in there. Dare I take a bite of one of those? Dare I? I bet I'm gonna. take a bite off my end of one of these. Oh, it just falls apart anyway, look. Um, mm. Get out of there. Pork chops I'm not gonna leave in there for four hours like I'm going to with the brisket and the pulled pork. Let's look at our chicken legs. Can you see down there? Look at that. Look at them chicken legs. Or chicken quarters, I'm sorry. Let's take that temperature. We want that to be close to 185. Not quite there. Low and slow, remember? Smoke's dying down, but like I said, I'm gonna go with the heat now for the rest of it. 148.6. Okay. Need about 35, 40 more degrees for them. But they're gonna be good too. I'd eat them right now. Oh, yeah, I would. Ooh. Ow. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Okay. I might cover the pork chops too, why not? Since I'm going to leave them in there longer. At this point, you could also just put these in your oven in your house. If you don't want to waste your wood or charcoal or propane. Maybe you have an electric smoker. Okay, but I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to give it another four hours. Well, three hours, I'm going to check the brisket internal temp. In four hours, or check the pulled pork. The chicken will be done in another hour. And I'm gonna take a nap. Is that all right? We're gonna get some more smoke coming up out of here. But mainly we're going with the heat right now. Okay? You like it so far? I do. I'm gonna finish that sausage too. Maybe even that pork chop. No, I covered that up. <laughs> sausage. I'll be back after my nap. I'm awake. I took a nice nap. First of all, here it is. <laughs> I have the brisket wrapped in a towel on the table like Myron suggested in the book. He says put it out here for two or three hours. But I just put it out here. I took it out ahead of the, the pork roast, the shoulder. What do you want to see first? Look at them beautiful pork chops. Mm -hmm. Did I taste one of them? What else do you want to see? Oh, oh the chicken. Remember? I'm gonna smoke come off of there. Look at them, chicken quarters. Remember, put, oh look it, I can't even pick it up, look. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Gotta take a bite. Mm. Smoked, moist. Mm. Let me get a plate over here. 
That's a meat menagerie. My man style. You remember the sausages? I ate two of them in the process. They're perfect. I kept them warm. I put them on top while the rest of it was finishing up. There we go. Remember I said the brisket's gonna make us juice? Look at the juice. Was that right? And it shrank, but that's okay. I don't know if you remember, we gotta cut against the grain here. Hang on, let's look at this now. Everything here? Yep. Oh, look at it. Pulled pork. I had some claws, remember? Where are them claws at? Bear claws. Remember this bone in there? Let's find it. Bone. What do you think of that, boys? Came right out. You've seen it. Now I'm going to put this in another container, a little plastic one, and shred it apart because I'm not going to need all that liquid. But look how that came out. So perfect. Remember the rub up on top? Whoa. That's going to be some pulled pork. It melts. Melts. See it? Mmm. Woo! All right. I gotta taste the brisket for you. I gotta sit down for this. I'm getting all worked up. Let me take this out of here and put it on my cutting board just to show you. Oh. Is that the green? Woo! Let's check the consistency. The pull apart test. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite. Look. Mm. And brisket is one of the toughest cuts of meat. That's why when you get the internal temperature to 205, it melts like this. Mmm, it's melting. Put that back for now. I'll take a little piece of pulled pork and show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it in a container, like I said, the whole thing, shred it up. But I'm just showing you right now what it's like, see? Shred that up. Make a nice sandwich here if you want. Look at that. That's heavenly. You saw the chicken leg. The chicken quarter that turned into a leg because it's so tender it fell apart. Try pork chop. Smoky, smoky. That falls apart too, look. <laughs> Get in my belly. Oh. There's a sweetness to it. What did I put on there? One of those rubs. It might have been the sweet rub, huh? What else I got? My sausages. Remember them? Lean, sweet, Italian. Turkey sausage. All right, that's my massive meat menagerie for today. And you remember, you see me take a bite of this a couple times. But I'll show you the finished product. Listen to a snap, though. Oh, wait. Well, I hear it in my mouth. <laughs> Are your ears in my mouth? I hear the snap of the casing. It's also delicious. I can't eat it all right now. This is going to be a couple of lunches and suppers this week. That's for sure. It was a fun day. 
they did come up to about 211 degrees when I fell asleep. I got up and I checked the temperature. Both of these were about 211, 220, and I wanted 205, remember? <laughs> what else can I say? It's just delicious. What am I going to eat? I don't know what to do. I'm beside myself. No, I'm not. I'm actually in front of myself. All right, thank you very much. It's so delicious. I don't know what I'm going to do first. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. Please subscribe. Somewhere around there. Talk to you soon. Hope you're smoking something good soon. It's just so delicious. I'm overwhelmed. I'm in meat menagerie heaven. Okay, have a nice night. Give me a napkin. Talk to you soon. Oh, where are you going? Wait. Ah! <laughs> All right, goodbye. Mmm, time to eat.